Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to answer a question that is the PhD enough? And this is a question which is often asked of people who are planning to do postdoc. And the question is very relevant because if you have spent many years of your life, especially time when you are young, in doing a PhD, why would you spend more time in doing a postdoc? So actually what should ideally happen is that your PhD should directly prepare you for a job in the industry or a job in the university system or in some research lab. But there are often cases where this may not happen and you may not get an optimal job or a desirable job at the end of your PhD. So this is when people start looking for postdoc positions. And I can think of five situations when you may actually think of doing a postdoc and in these cases you may think that your PhD is not sufficient and you may want to do a postdoc. So let's look at these cases. So the number one case is that you need more papers. And this is often the case with people that they may have one or two journal publications and they would like to have three to five journal publications before which they are ready to apply for a faculty position at a good university. It may also be that they have published maybe one to two conference papers in top conferences such as in the IEEE conference and these papers are being reviewed by an IEEE journal and they need some time before these papers get published in journal and their case becomes strong. So very often this happens especially in the engineering fields that people write several conference papers, put them in top conferences in the world and so on. And if these people are aspiring for faculty positions, they may actually need some time for these papers to get into the journals because many journals can take six months or even a year or year and a half to get the paper published from the time you submit the paper. So this is something to keep in mind. Now, the number two issue may be that you want an affiliation jump and if you are somebody who looks into the theory behind curriculum vitae and CV you know that on page one essentially of the CV the affiliation is there that is the place where you have done your PhD and where you are currently working so if you feel that a stint in sub top university in the world is going to uplift your CV then that is certainly a reason for doing a postdoc so maybe you want a one or two year stint at a top university such as Cambridge or Oxford or Harvard or TU Munich or Tsinghua University or University of Tokyo. So in those cases you may think that why not do a postdoc and I'll get paid for it and it will look good on my CV when people see the first page. Because do remember that the place you went to most recently has the maximum impact in the eyes of the selection committee chair so they always like to see a highly ranked university there. Now number three is you are contemplating a strategic move and a strategic move is something which you make to essentially change the domain of the problem in which you are working. So maybe you want to move to a different country and this is not only for people who are moving from developing countries to developed countries because they think they can get better facilities for research and so on but also for people who may want to move between developed countries so there are people who are doing PhD in Germany for example who may find that they want to move to US to do a postdoc there are people doing PhD in Japan who may think they may want to move to Australia to do a postdoc so all these are legitimate situations maybe the place where you have done the PhD you have found that the atmosphere of that country is not too good in terms of research and you want to explore some different place and the postdoc provides you essentially free money to do so. So that's the number three reason. Now the number four reason is rather odd and this is there for some people is that they want more money and what has happened is that they have been paid very less as a PhD student and any postdoctoral position would actually be a jump in their salary. So there are many countries in the world which pay good salaries for postdoc, for example, Switzerland and the Scandinavian countries. And also there are many named postdocs which pay a lot of money, especially in the biological sciences, in the health sciences, in pharmaceuticals and so on. There are industry postdocs also out there. 
and these postdocs are global in nature they accept people from throughout the world so it's always possible that you can land one of these postdoctoral positions and that will come out very well for you so that kind of move may turn out to be very useful now the number five reason is that you need more time and this is something which happens to some people is that they reach the end of the phd and they have not really lined up a position for themselves maybe they have not applied for the university circuit they do not know whether they want to join industry and so on so essentially they have not done enough introspection they were very busy during the phd process itself and now that they have suddenly got their degrees they want a quick position and postdoc is essentially a way to spend some time in thinking about what you really want to do so one of the advantages of doing the postdoc is you have your phd degree in hand remember when you apply for jobs as a phd you don't yet have a phd so people will be asking you when are you graduating and this is a question which is really impossible for a phd student to answer because this depends on his supervisor on the state of his research on the papers under review and so on and i would say in most cases the supervisor himself or herself doesn't know when his student is going to graduate it depends on so many factors beside their own judgment on the situation remember the phd is not being granted by the supervisor it's being granted by the university by a committee of professors and the supervisor is always somewhat diffident about putting a thesis in front of this committee so keep that in mind so essentially what the postdoc gives you is it gives you some time to think about the things which you need to do maybe delve into some newer problem which is more marketable maybe make your cv slightly more marketable by changing the affiliation by increasing your number of papers and so on so essentially postdoc can be used to buy time and then you may land in a more optimal situation now the final number 6 point is you love to have the name of famous dead people who often are named in foundation postdocs on your cv so for example you may want to get the humboldt fellowship you may want to get the fulbright fellowship you may want to get banting fellowship and so on so essentially there is a class of people who if they stay in the university long enough develop a fatal attraction towards such named postdocs and of course it's true that such named postdocs can add a lot of weightage to your cv the front page of the cv and it makes the work of future committees much simpler because remember the selection committee and any further committee which gives awards is always always going to look at your cv and say hey this committee said he is good so for us the task is kind of half done so that always helps the situation if a person has got two awards or three awards following his phd named postdocs and so on it's much more easier to make a decision in terms of selection committee chairman so keep that in mind that is the number 6 reason to do the postdoc and that is if you feel that your cv will greatly benefit from a named postdoc so these were some of my points about question is a phd not enough do you really need to do a postdoc and so you can ruminate on some of these issues i'm not saying that you cannot directly get a job after your phd you can but there are people who think they may get a better job after a few years so that is the reason often why they do a postdoc so that was my video for today and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then